What's up, y'all? This is Manuel. And this is Blanca. And we're Group One Crew. And thanks for tuning in to Rock Your Mic. Rock it, y'all. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is your boy Tyree from Rock Your Mic and the Rock Your Mic TV show. And I'm here to talk to you about three things that dating is. If you begin dating without some clear guidelines and boundaries, you're headed for some serious disaster. You ready? Number one, dating is not for those who are not ready. Now, to get this, you might have to understand first what is dating and what is ready. I mean, is dating duck, duck, goose relationships until you're ready to finally marry the goose? I mean, because this strategy doesn't seem too good with protecting your heart. So many times, the heart is, is, is affected by the irresponsible actions of many students and, and, and many students have to live through the shame and the guilt of all of this and they keep carrying on to the duck, 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 duck until they find the goose. And then the crazy thing is, is that then when they find the goose, the goose got put up with all the baggage that all the ducks brought in to the past relationship. And let me tell you, this will put a lot of strain on the geese. And so the next thing is, what is ready? I mean, are you ready because you're 13 now? Are you ready because you got an Instagram account? What kind of person you want to have a family with? I mean, isn't that why we go after the duck, 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 trying to find the goose? We want to find someone we want to live forever with? Well, it depends on what kind of person you want to start a family with. You want to start a family with a boy? Lack of irresponsibilities? You want a man? You want some girl? You want a woman? So in order to find out what ready is, you got to find out what you're ready to be involved in with the rest of your life. Oh, and the second thing. That dating is not dating is not a way to get to know somebody. I think we all know the movie of the Titanic, the story of Titanic, and in this movie, we have Rose and Jack. They're on the front of the ship, and Rose is like, "I feel like I'm flying, Jack. I feel like I'm flying." And this is like the romantic part of the relationship, you know, part of the relationship where you text him, he takes you back. I love you. I love you too. I love you. I love you too. It's a romantic part of the relationship. The problem is, is that Rose don't know Jack. You see, Rose didn't really know Jack, but she felt like I was flying, Jack, and her heart got all caught up into it. If you want to find out, when you want to see a student at their fakest, check them out, and I feel like I'm flying moments. This is where they are always nice. It's where they always are on time. It's rather the nicest, man. It's rather the fakest. If you really want to get to know somebody, check out how they are at school every day. Take a look at their Twitter account, Facebook pictures. If you really want to get to know somebody? Get a job with them over at McDonald's. Yeah, so we're about see them how they are with about eight hours over a, a hot, greasy fryer. That's how you get to know who she is, guys. Number three, dating is not what it's all cracked up to be. I mean, think about this. Two adolescents, they're out together, they hardly know each other, with limited social issues, having to create awkward conversation with each other for a lot of time. In a pop culture that screams the word, SUCK! The point is, is, it's a whole lot easier to get to know somebody when you're in a group of people. Matter of fact, it's a whole lot better to get to know somebody when you were just friends in the first place. Listen, I ain't talking about we're friends dating. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about friends. Yeah, yeah, I know of her. Yeah, I know him. Yeah, I see them. Friends. And especially when you're in groups. The cool thing about being in groups is other people can fill in all the awkward blankness, all the awkward conversation. Yeah, they can, like, keep things fun. So you have to keep things physical. See, in my county, a survey was taken. Seven out of ten students that were sexually active. Seven out of ten wish. They never would have done it. I didn't say it. Your generation did. Ready to wrap it up? Dating is not for those that are not ready. But you contend on duck, 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 dating until you're ready to settle down with your goose. Number two, it's not a great way to get to know somebody. I make sure everybody screams, I keep it real. But and Vegas during the whole dating thing. I heard a guy say this, came out of this guy's mouth, he said this, he said, I'd rather mess with the girl that's a hoe 
but marry the girl that's whole. Locker room talk. You see, the world wants to date and create these broken hearts, but then they want to go ahead and marry completeness. And number three, it's not always cracked up to be. There's a lot of dudes that can build a computer from scratch, house from the ground up, build a car, man, just from the frame. But we still can't understand craziness of a female. Wait till you have your foundation set before you have the issues of another. If we just dive head first into the issues of the youth culture, we dive in, we say the same things that all caring adults said, we just sprinkle a little bit of rock your mic spice on it. You can check us out, I'm a motivational speaker, I speak on the topics at schools, uh, anti-bullying, abstinence and reaching your dreams so if this is something that you think your school needs or your student schools need go ahead and check us out there on rockyourmic.com we'll see you soon so listen we're so glad that you chose to check us out here at rock your mic tv go ahead and go over to rockyourmic.com go to the rock your mic tv link you can check out you can tell us what you want the next episode to look like Listen, this is your boy Tyree for Rock Your Mic Television, signing off.